so hey everyone welcome back to another video so uh, today there was this contest code forces around 876 division 2 so i was able to solve problem a b and c there was a wrong submission in problem b so i so this video is actually the editorial of problem c so we'll be going through the idea behind problem c also before starting if you all are interested in joining the boot camp the enigma boot camp that has started like i'll mention all the details in the description please feel free to check that out so now let's move to the solution so the first observation that you need to make in the solution that suppose there is this b string that you have made it can be anything 1010010 or the a string like any string a or b string uh the last number can never be 1 it can never be 1 that was actually the core observation like if you have made that observation the question would become very easy for you like the end bit like the last final bit can never be one how like i don't have a proof for this but you can like i do have a proof but you can do a simple dry run and check like how should i get one at the last place and you will never be able to find a solution to getting a number one at the last bit because you'll never be actually like you'll never be able to revert the last bit you don't have an option to revert the final bit so yeah you don't have an option to revert the final bit and like you can run many test cases but you'll never be able to revert the last bit like even if you think that okay what if i select this particular whole thing and i'll make revert like like and i'll reverse the bit the last bit will become zero that will not happen right because after one again you'll get a zero so you'll never be able to make the last bit uh, one now once you have made that observation this whole problem becomes a pattern based problem like there is one single pattern so to solve all particular strings so let's look at the idea so suppose i have this string 11000 this is the string that i have to made like that i have to make so suppose initially the uh, string b is empty right so what you'll do is first you'll uh, just select p is equals to 0 and you'll put like whenever like you know like simple observation that whenever you select p equals to 0 a 0 will be appended to the beginning of the string so here i'll make a 0 uh, suppose this is the string that we have to make right so let's just remove this So what I'll do is I'll append like I'll the first operation would be like these are the operations that I'm writing. Yeah. So p is equals to zero, a zero appended. Again I'll select p is equals to zero. Now I have a zero. So the algorithm or the pattern algorithm that you have to use is the number of zeros minus one. So these two zeros you have to directly append it. So I appended this zero and uh, so one more one small observation is that once I said that the last bit can never be a uh, one. you know that your string would always look something like a series of ones and then ones zero zeros one zero zeros always ending with zero something like ones then some zeros ones then some zeros ones and always ending with a zero your complete uh, bitwise string would look like this right so now what you have to do so now let's get back to the string how we are making this string so we added p is equals to zero we have a zero here again p is equals to zero we have a zero again in the beginning now to get this particular thing we'll use a slightly different logic as we can see there are two ones over here so we will again do so this so these operations were to get these zeros ye wale zeros now we have to get this string 110 so now we see that there are two ones so why not let's append again we'll append two zeros so our b string would look something like 0 0 0 0 our b string would look something like this right after this what we'll do is you will select ye wala pat my matlab basically you will select p equals to 2 so we again made p is equals to 0 p is equals to 0 we added these two zeros now you'll select p is equals to 2 why did you select p is equals to 2 i'll explain later but then i'll select these two zeros when i select these two zeros i'll transform my whole string from 00000 to 1 1 these two strings were converted to like it got reversed so 1 1 here we'll have a 0 so 0 and these two strings would be like that only 0 0 so easily we were able to make 1 1 0 0 like this logic so what is the logic the logic is simple you so always for like if you have a string if you have a string se like segregate that thing into a series of ones and zeros so 1 1 0 0 Suppose you have a string one one zero zero and then one 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 zero zero zero. 
so treat these two things different like these two strings would be different like treat them separately and you will get your answer uh yeah so now let's ha huh, you so and hamesha piche se aage aana like you will do a reverse iteration so always to get so now let's target this but like now you understand you'll only like you'll only be dealing with some ones and zeros again that is a substring again some ones and zeros and individually you'll calculate your answer so how to calculate for like three ones and three zeros again same logic for these two zeros like teen zero hai to for two zeros for count of zeros minus one you will always append p equals to zero p equals to zero like is scale we will solve right okay now we will see how to solve for this how our p how our uh, resultant array would be like and the condition for no is simple if the last bit is zero then you can't solve that so yahan pe i'll be making so do zeros ke liye to i'll have to do p0 p0 now yahan pe teen ones hai aur maine ek zero wahan se uthaya like you have taken a zero from do from your substring of zeros so simply these three like you like you see it like this wo three jo three ones hai the only way to get those three ones is to revert a series of continuous zeros so i will be making three continuous zeros now kyunki mujhe utne ones chahiye now abhi mujhe se reverse karna hai aur mujhe pata hai ki when i'll be reversing this thing i'll get a spare zero extra zero after these three continuous ones that's why i have kept this zero as a spare to take that fall back तो वो जीरो ने बोला कि येस आई अंडरस्टैंड दैट मेरे आगे देर आर थ्री वंस सो आई विल बी द जीरो दैट विल बी अ रिजल्टेंट ऑफ कन्वर्टिंग दीज थ्री जीरोज एज वन सो वैन आई एडेड दीज थ्री जीरोज अभी मैं अपना पी का वैल्यू थ्री सेलेक्ट करूँगा जब मैंने अपना पी का वैल्यू थ्री सेलेक्ट किया यहाँ पे जीरो थे राइट एक्चुअल में अभी तक तो वहाँ जीरो है ये सब वन बन जाएंगे और ये जो जीरो ने बोला था कि आई एम रेड टू टेक दी फॉल बैक वो भी जीरो आ गया और हमारा स्ट्रिंग ये बन गया सो देर इज़ ऑलवेज अ स्पेयर जीरो यू रिजर्व लाइक वो एक रिजर्व जीरो है क्योंकि तुम्हें पता है कि तुम्हें जीरो का नीड पड़ेगा वैन यूल भी रिवर्सिंग सम पर्टिकुलर बिट्स अगेन अभी इस स्ट्रिंग पर आ जाओ लाइक दिस इज द फाइनल स्ट्रिंग सो वापस पी जीरो क्योंकि यहाँ एक ही है मैंने देखा यहाँ पे दो जीरोज है तो एक को मैं यूज़ कर लेता हूँ ऐसे अपेंड करने के लिए दूसरे को लाइक अगेन आई कीप दैट एज अ रिजर्व अगेन दो वनज है तो दो जीरोज वापस ऐड करो दो जीरोज वापस ऐड किया अभी मुझे पता है इन दोनों को रिवर्स करना है और एक और एक रिवर वो और एक ज़ीरो भी बचा है जो हैंडल करेगा जो एक्स्ट्रा ज़ीरो हमारे पास आएगा तो अगेन सेलेक्ट पी इज इक्वल्स टू टू तुमने ये दो ज़ीरोस को यहाँ सेलेक्ट किया ये दो ज़ीरोस बन गए वन वन एक और ज़ीरो आएगा उसके बाद और ये ज़ीरो हमारे पास था टू मैच दैट सो दिस इज़ दी होल एल्गोरिदम नाउ इफ़ यू सी दी कोड इट इज़ सिमिलर जो मैंने बोला है तुमको नाउ यू आर सिम्पली चेकिंग इफ़ दी लास्ट बेट इज़ वन इफ़ इट इज़ वन यू विल बी रिटर्निंग अ नो लाइक इट्स नॉट पॉसिबल otherwise we are iterating from behind like it's a reverse traversal and at every point matlab j ka j usi ye while pure ke andar tabhi ja raha hai jab tumhe pata hai ki that j is zero abhi dekhna iske andar kya hota hai obviously right kyunki n minus 1 maine ensure kiya hai ki mera n minus 1 zero to hai at least after that tumne zero count ki ki theek hai let's go back let's see kitne zeros hai then abhi tumhe pata chal gaya tum ek one pe aa gaye let's go back and check kitne ones hai यू हैव अ सिंपल काउंट ऑफ जीरो कितने मेरे पास वन है कितने मेरे पास जीरोज़ है अपना एल्गोरिदम क्या था अपना एल्गोरिदम सिंपल था जितने वन है उसका एक माइनस तो पुश बैक ही कर दो तो जीरो काउंट माइनस वन सिंपली पुश बैक दो जीरोज और जितने वंस काउंट है उतने जीरोज लगेंगे क्योंकि वही रिवर्स करके वन बनने वाले तो जितने वंस काउंट है उतने जीरो डाल दो अभी कितनों को रिवर्स करना है पी इक्वल्स टू जितने नंबर ऑफ जीरोज़ यू नीड सो पी इक्वल्स सो आंसर डॉट पुश बैक जितने जीरोज़ को तुम्हें रिवर्ट करना है सो वंस काउंट को तुमने पुश बैक कर दिया एंड जे को वापस टेम जे कर दो अभी दूसरा सबस्टिंग हैंडल होगा जिसका अगेन फर्स्ट बिट इज़ जीरो एंड इन दी एंड जस्ट सिंपली प्रिंट दी आंसर सो दिस इज़ दी होल एल्गोरिदम द ओली ऑब्जर्वेशन वॉज नीडेड दैट यू हैव टू हैंडल वन एंड जीरोज के स्ट्रीम्स एक एक सबस्टिंग उठा उठा के एंड विल बी एबल टू सॉल्व दिस सो दैट्स इट अगर कुछ डाउट हो तो आस्क मे इन दी कॉमेंट्स